Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install PyCharm IDE on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, okay? So in order to install PyCharm IDE, first of all we have to install Python. Because we are using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, we don't need to install Python separately for this because Python comes pre-installed on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, okay? So let's check out whether we have Python installed or not. So we have to open the terminal first. So let me minimize this file. Okay. So just go to your desktop, right click on that and then click on this open terminal. Okay. And here we have the terminal opened. So just type this command python3 and after that hit enter key on the keyboard. You can see that uh, you know python uh, 3.6.8 installed already on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Okay. So let me exit this. So let me press ctrl z. Okay and let me close this terminal okay guys so uh, let's install pycharm ide okay so before installing pycharm ide first of all we have to install some packages so let me scroll down i already made the list okay so packages need to be installed before installing pycharm okay so we have to install this build essential package and also python 3 uh, dist utils that is distribution utils package okay so we have to open the terminal so let me open the terminal let me go to my desktop right click on that and then click on this open terminal and here we have the terminal opened okay so we need to install this uh, build essential package so the command is sudo apt install build dash essential okay so let me copy this and guys all these commands in video description you can check it out okay so let me go to my terminal and let me paste that okay and after that hit enter key on the keyboard just provide your administrative password okay and after that hit enter okay let me provide it again it was incorrect Okay, you can see that I already have, you know, this uh, build essential package and uh, newest version. So I didn't, don't need to install this. Okay. If you don't have this, just install it. Okay. And after that, uh, you have to install this Python 3 distribution utils package. So the command is sudo. Uh, you can also use apt-get or also apt. Okay. So the command is sudo apt install python3 dash dist utils. Okay. So let me copy this command. Uh, let me open the terminal. Let me minimize this file. Okay. And let me paste that, that command over here. sudo apt install python3 dash dist utils. Okay. And after that hit enter key on the keyboard. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes, press Y key on the keyboard and hit enter. Okay, so it's now done. Uh, let me open this file. So packages are now installed. Let's, let's install PyCharm IDE. Okay, so for this, uh, just open your web browser. Okay, and you have to open this website google.com. And just do a search for PyCharm. And here we have this link PyCharm, the Python IDE for professional developers by JetBrains. Okay, you can see the link is from JetBrains.com. So just click on this link. Okay, and here we have this website of uh, you know JetBrains opened. Okay, and here we have this page PyCharm the Python IDE for professional developers. Okay, so just click on this download button. And here we have this page open. Okay, and here we have this Linux. Uh, it comes, you know, for Windows also and Mac, but we are on Linux. So just click on this to select it. Okay, and here we have two versions, professional and community. So the professional version is not free. You need to pay for this and the community version is free you can see free and open source so in this tutorial we are going to install this community version 
So just click on this download button. Uh, thank you for downloading PyCharm. Okay, and here we have this window. You can see here we have this star file of PyCharm community. Uh, click on this save file and then click on this OK button. And you can see guys, uh, the file is now downloading. So we need to wait for this. Okay guys, so the file has been downloaded. So let me click on this uh, open containing folder, this link. Okay, so here we have this uh, tar file. So we need to untar this. So for this, we need to click on this to select it. Right click on that. And then click on this extract here. And here we have this extracted folder. So you need to open this. So just double click on this. And here we have the, you know, folders in this. Okay. So you have to open this bin folder. So just double click on this. Okay. So it's opening. So we need to wait. Okay. So here we have all these files. Okay. And here we have this pycharm.sh, this file. Okay. So we need to run this file. So we need to open the terminal in this bin folder. Okay. So first of all, let me close this terminal. Okay. So just come to this bin folder and then right click on this in this empty area and then click on this open in terminal. And you can see guys here we have this terminal opened and we are in bin folder. Okay. So we have to run this file pycharm.sh. So for this you have to type this dot forward slash pycharm.sh. And after that hit enter key on the keyboard. You can see it's opening. Because I don't have you know previous installation of PyCharm IDE. So I need to click on this do not import settings and then click on this OK button. So it's opening. So we need to wait for this. And here we have JetBrains privacy policy. Read this. Okay. And if you agree, click on this box. I confirm that I have read and accept the terms of this user agreement. Click on this continue button after that. Okay. So here we have set user interface theme to, we have two themes over here. Dracula, the dark theme and light theme. Okay. You can select any theme of your choice by clicking on it. I'm selecting this light one. So I need to click over here. You can see it's now selected. And after that, click on this next launcher script. Okay. And here we have this create launcher script. I'm leaving this as default and then click on this next featured plugins. And here we have, you know, some plugins. You can see idea vim. Markdown, but I'm not installing this right now. Okay, so let me click on this start using PyCharm this button. So it's opening, so we need to wait for this. You can see welcome to PyCharm. Okay, so it's now installed. Let's create one hello world project and let's see whether it's working or not. Okay, so just click on this create new project this link and here we have the location so let me type the project name hello world okay and here we have the project interpreter uh, click on this to expand this okay and you can see here we have the base interpreter you can see python 3.6 okay you can see and uh, after that click on this create button so you can see it's loading project okay so it's now done uh, let me maximize this okay so here we have tip of the day you can 
find various tips over here by clicking on this next tip okay so i'm clicking on this close button okay and here we have this hello world project let me expand this okay and let's create one python file so i need to right click on this hello world okay and then new and here we have this python file click on this python file uh, i'm giving name as hello and here we have this python file already selected okay so just hit enter key on the keyboard and you can see it's loading and you can see that here we have this hello.py file created okay so let's print hello world so let me type this print in parenthesis and in quotes let me type hello world okay and after that i need to run this okay so for this i need to click right click on this file okay and here we have this run file in python console okay so if i click on this okay you can see it's running and here we have this output hello world okay and also guys you can you know run this uh, you know file by using another method so let me minimize this uh, let me modify this hello world my first project okay okay so in order to run this by using another method here we have this little you know this run you can see this you know button we have click on this and you can see here we have this output hello world my first project okay so it's now done and also guys let me show you one more thing so if i close this you know uh, you know this pycharm ide let me close this uh, exit it's now closed uh, let me close this you know uh, this terminal also let me minimize this bin folder let me minimize this firefox web browser also let me minimize this file okay so how we can you know start you know pycharm ide so we can add you know pycharm ide in this launcher okay so if i click on this i uh, show applications and if i do a search for pycharm you can see we don't have any pycharm ide okay so we need to do one more thing so let me click on this activities okay and i need to go to that bin folder again let me right click on this and then click on this open in terminal or let me run this file pycharm.sh dot forward slash pycharm dot sh and hit enter key on the keyboard and here we have this pycharm ide opening so it's loading okay so it's now opened here we have the tip of the day let me click on this close button okay so in order to add this pycharm ide uh, over here in this uh, launcher uh, you have to click on this you know tools and here we have the create desktop entry click on this create desktop entry uh, create desktop entry create the entry for all users click on this box and then click on this ok button Uh, provide your administrative password uh, click on this authenticate you can see desktop entry created okay so let me minimize this pycharm ide or uh, let me minimize this in our terminal also and if i click on this i uh, show applications and uh, just do a search for pycharm you can see that here we have this pycharm ide added okay so let me click on this activities okay and uh, let me close this uh, you know this pycharm ide exit uh, let me close this terminal also let me close this bin folder and you can see guys we still don't have pycharm ide in this launcher okay so how we can add this
So for this you have to click on this show applications. Uh, just do a search for PyCharm. Okay. And here we have this PyCharm, this software. Right click on this. And then click on this add to favorites. You can see PyCharm community edition has been added to your favorites. Uh, click on this activities. Okay. And you can see here we have this PyCharm added in this launcher. Okay. So let me open this and let's see whether it's working or not. So if I click on this, you can see it's opening. It's loading project. Uh, tip of the day, let me close this. Okay. So here we have our hello world project that we created. Okay. So if I run this again, you can see here we have our output hello world my first project okay so it's working fine you can close this or also minimize this okay so guys that's it uh, in this way you can easily install pycharm ide on ubuntu 18.04 lts so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye